Welcome back to Learning Docker. In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at sharing Docker images. And what I essentially mean by this is uh, basically uploading a Docker image to a Docker Hub repository. So this is something that we're going to need for a future tutorial, uh, but I won't go into that in this tutorial. So what we need to do first is essentially just create a Docker image. And we can do that by just um, using a very simple doc file. So all this does is build from the PHP 7.2 Apache, copy a file to a um, directory on the virtual machine, on the Docker container, run a couple of installs of PHP extensions, and that's basically it. Okay, so we're gonna do this by simply doing a Docker build. We're going to tag it. Now, this is a basically a local tag. Um, I'll come on to a repository tag in a second. So PHP, MySQL, I, Apache, and we're going to build this directory. So we've built that. It was quite fast because I've already built it before. Now, essentially, we need to authenticate ourselves with Docker. So simply just do Docker login. If you're using something like Linux, you're probably going to get a prompt at this point to enter your username and password. But if you're using Windows or Mac and using the Docker client, it should already have pre-filled your authentication details assuming that you're already logged in. So the next thing to do is tag our um, image for repository. So we do this by docker tag php mysql i apache. Now your username is uh, has to be here, so it's gonna be for me docker james85 forward slash php mysql i apache. Now I've done run this a couple of times, so I think I'm on now version 1.3. So if I run that, it will now tag my PHP MySQL Apache image and it'll allow me to basically push my Docker image up to the repository. So if I do Docker push uh, Docker James 85 forward slash PHP MySQL I Apache colon 1.3. So once you've uh, taken a couple of moments, it should have updated the local repository. Now um, I can go and validate this by going to hub.docker.com forward slash r forward slash your docker username forward slash your image. So if I go to that URL, I've already pre-filled this in before. Refresh that. You can see that it was updated a few seconds ago. Look at the tags for this repository. And you basically see I created version 1.06 days ago, 1.1 two days ago, 1.25 minutes ago, and 1.3 a few seconds ago, which is what I just created. So I can now use this Docker image if I want to um, for just building a very simple or running a very simple Docker container. So I do Docker run and then just specify the Docker container. So Docker James 85 forward slash PHP MySQL I Apache. 1.3. Now, obviously, this is something you could share with your friends. I'm going to run this in detached mode as well. What was wrong with that? Da, 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 da. Ah, the D should have come straight after the run. So, if I do Docker container ls, we should see that my remote, my basically repository container is running. Now obviously you could share that command with your friends and they will also be able to run the same Docker repository. And that is basically it for today. That's how you will create a Docker repository. I know it was quite a short one. Uh, in the next tutorial will be a little bit longer and a little bit more complicated than this. But I hope you found this useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're interested in the content I will be providing, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when my latest videos come out. Other than that, um, good luck with Docker and I hope to catch you next time.